Hello guys and welcome to my new LP. Alright, here we go. That's right, this is Yu-Gi-Oh! Nightmare Troubadour. Uh, this is kind of an older game. Um, it was really one of the first games to be, you know, released for Nintendo DS, and it's, uh, it's a pretty good game. I hope you guys will like it. Um, so we're gonna get into it. New game. Attention. If you start a new game. Yes, that is okay. So, yep. Let's do it. Kaiba Corp. 1994. Kaiba Corp Computer Room. <clears throat> What's going on? Seto! <laughs> There's something wrong with the dual ring computer server. What's causing the problems? Sorry, sir. My hair doesn't know. Today is an important day for my bro. It's the first day of the tournament. We have to figure out what's causing the mess before it's too late. Dot dot dot. So, sir, it seems my hair has uh, fixed the computer. Or rather, it's fixed itself. How can that be? My enemy mullet is furious. Alright, and this is the start of the game. You. What power do you desire? Um, now these first questions actually are pretty important. Uh, some of them will determine your, you know, some of the cards in your starter deck. And some will determine something later that I'm not really going to spoil right now. But, yep. Um, but I'm just going to answer sword. What is your dream? My dream? A uh, soldier. What will you test of yourself? My destiny. <laughs> Always a good answer. You are. You are. Yu-Gi-Oh! King of Games. All right, and now we arrive in our room. Uh, this is where you'll be like, you know, saving the game and uh, for the most part, adjusting your deck, receiving emails, that kind of stuff. <sighs> that dream tipped the scale on the weirdo meter. Are you telling me? I almost forgot. Today's an important day. I gotta get going. All right, let's go. And we go to Grandpa's Game Shop. Oh, was that a Yu-Gi-Oh! Duelist of the Roses poster over there? I don't know. Welcome, young boy. Huh? I don't recognize that store clerk. That's because it's Grandpa Yuki, man. <laughs> you must be a regular. My name is Solomon Moto. The owner of the store is a friend of mine. He's gone off on vacation, so I'm gonna watch the shop until he gets back. <sighs> of all days, how can you take today off? I wanted to participate in today's duel tournament, but no. I can only duel when the shop's closed. That's not fair at all. Um. Oh, was I talking out loud? Sorry, how unprofessional of me. You're a duelist, aren't you? Uh, well, yeah. Why would you answer no to that question? I don't know. You must think I'm psychic. Ha ha. Ha. When you get to be my age, I can spot a duelist just by looking. Oh, is that so? If you're entering today's tournament, you've come to the right place. Please fill out this entry form. And basically, here you just kind of pick your name. And you also get to pick your appearance, which... Uh... I actually have uh, longer hair, 
uh, if some of you have seen my videos. So I'll go with long hair. It doesn't really matter much what you pick, so. And we get to enter our name. Yapoyo the Pop. <laughs> well, since this is going to be part of my channel, Floodmon14, I think we'll go with... Uh, should I go with Floodmon or just Flood? You know what? I think we'll stick with Flood. Alright. Where do you live? Uh, now again, this doesn't matter much either, but just to uh, make the game comparable to uh, what happens in the anime, I'm going to put Domino for the town. That way it'll feel like we're dueling in uh, Battle City, where, where the uh, Battle City tournament took place, so that's cool. Where do you like to go? Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, you get to pick two towns, that's right. Um, now on this one, I'll just put, huh, maybe I should put Alcatraz. <laughs> you know what, that's actually a great idea. Okay, I don't know, I'm not sure if this is how you spell it though, but, uh, I mean, it'll be pretty close. Alcatraz. Alcatraz Island. You know what, that looks right. We'll go with that. All right. Yes, we like to go with an island, only inhabited by insane people. Okay, you're registered for the Beginner's Cup. By entering the tournament, you've also registered for the Kaibacorp Bliss Network. Now, all of this sounds fancy, but basically, um, you know, don't worry about it. I'll, I'll let you know what you need to know, so. Or so I've been told. I'm not familiar with this internet thing. <laughs> Oh man. Yes, by entering the tournament, you receive the dual disc and the starter deck. <laughs> Make sure to take care of it because it doesn't come with a money back guarantee warranty. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> nice little humor there. And we get the dual disc. Do 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 Alright. And now we are ready for the tournament. One of the duelists, yeah, oh yeah, and this will be a feature of the game I'll talk about later, but duelist radar. Uh, yeah, basically if you match the radar with the map, you can find another duelist. So, yeah. <laughs> we didn't have duelist radars back in my day. Oh man, this game's pretty good. We had to hike miles in the snow to find an opponent. <laughs> Lucky kids. Huh? Oh, was I speaking out loud again? Oops. Anyway, good luck in the tournament. Oh, I forgot one thing. Okay, what's that? The Beginner's Cup is obviously for beginners, yes. And we are beginners in the game, so... Now, uh, here it'll prompt you for a tutorial if you're new to the game, but eh, we don't really need that. So we'll say, yeah, we're familiar with the rules. Be careful, the rules are more intricate than they first appear. That is true. And yeah, you can come back to the store if you uh, accidentally skip this, so... Alright, and on to the opening ceremonies. Now, the beginning of this game, there's really not going to be much that we're going to be doing. Uh, basically, we're going to, you know, just kind of get a feel for the game. And you'll duel mostly, uh, you know, um, e they, they don't want to make it too hard on you right away. So, you know, hard duels like Kaiba and Merrick and... Yeah, you won't really see those guys, you know, for a while, which is good because they would probably kick our our butts, you know, with the starter deck we have. So, anyway, beginner's cup. Beginner duelists from around the country, welcome. Unfortunately, Seto Kaiba, the president of Kaiba Corp, was unable to come today, but he has a special message for everyone in beginner's cup. I have no time for chumps who give up, duel, fight, and win. Then maybe one day you'll have the skills to face me and my blue eyes white dragon. Great words from a great man. Beginner's Cup will last for several days. Yeah, th this uh, this is kind of an interesting format. Uh, but basically, it's not you know a traditional tournament style uh, yet. You know, you don't face just a few people in a row but uh 
basically you get to kind of uh, free range and uh, yeah increase your duelist level and get XP and um, and Kaiba Corp points which can be used to buy packs yeah preliminaries are held in every city in the country top duelists will be awarded an extravagant prize so that's what we're aiming for the prize and the expert cup so. oh yeah oh actually but yeah that's basically the the game is we're aiming for the expert cup but to qualify we have to pass the beginners cup so there you go and the beginners cup tournament starts now go all right I'm gonna win would you like to save yes all right and that uh, concludes it with the introductions and with that we're free to uh, you know kind of roam around find someone to duel uh, but what I'm gonna do first is uh, actually if you look on the uh, you know if you if you're playing this on a touch screen or whatever uh, a couple functions here if you go to this the dual disc the uh, icon that looks like a dual disc you can uh, look at your deck and edit it so let's see what we got here just for just for kicks uh, nothing in the side deck okay so and, and, and this is basically our starter deck it's not you know it's not the best thing in the world but we'll we'll be getting uh, you know new packs and trying to improve on it so uh, Flame Cerebris, Sea Snake, Giant Red Sea Snake's probably one of the best early cards you'll have. So, Neo, pretty good, 1700, 1000 defense. Uh, cards like this will be good early on too. Prevent Rat, 2000 defense, that's kind of what you want. So, uh, some effect monsters here. And I'll, I'll explain what these do, you know, as we use them. A uh, couple of spells and traps. Uh, anything noteworthy stim pack mm, honestly it's not the best equipped but it'll be it actually is pretty good early on a uh, negate attack these traps are pretty good uh, negate attack magic drain uh, shadow vice kinda stops defense so that's good trap hole alright and two prong attack now not the best cards in the world but yeah and to exit your deck construction you just press uh, press B so there you go. And now the first thing you'll want to do is uh, is if you click on the home icon, you get to go to your room. Uh, here in your room, you can uh, you can uh, go here to the dual disc, edit your deck, uh, sleep on the bed. That's only at night. And, and it and this and yes, this game does have a uh, a uh, day cycle or a you know like morning, evening, and night. So. And actually, at night, um, once you get to certain parts of the games, you can find uh, shadow games, which uh, are—I'll uh, I'll explain when we get to them. So, and those are pretty exciting. Uh, to save, you want to go to the treasure chest here, and that's what I'm going to do now. So, now the beginning of the game can be kind of uh, kind of challenging, uh, but but it won't be—it won't be too hard. Uh, but yeah, the main reasoning I'm saving is because, you know, sometimes you can just get a bad draw and, you know, not get what you want. Now, in this LP, I, I will be showing, you know, everything, every duel I do. Uh, but if I do lose, uh, I'll probably reset and uh, I'll tell you why. But first, I'm going to show you how to find a duelist. Wow, we found one pretty easy. But you see how it's green? And then if you move around, you know, kind of close on close in on them it gets the red and then you get this uh, kind of arrow pointing to them and that's basically how you find new people so let's see who we can do ah Mokuba alright cool alright our first duel the name's Mokuba are you entering the tournament my big bros a sponsor awesome huh hey let's duel too and uh, don't kidnap me or anything <laughs> for the uh, 20 billionth time it's Mokuba oh yeah and we can name our deck too I'm gonna change the name of that uh, after this duel 
Well, yeah, you play rock, paper, scissors, decide who goes first, and, uh, yeah, it's that easy. Just like that, we can duel somebody. So let's do it. Alright. Oh, pretty good hand, honestly. Alright. What are you gonna do, Mokuba? Three face things? That's not bad, I guess. Alright. So, uh, here are, here's our starting hand, uh, Crimson Ninja. Now what that card does is destroy a trap, so I could set that and go after one of his traps. Uh, negate attack, we'll set that, that'll be good protection. And then, uh, what else we have? We have Neo, Giant Red Sea Snake, Paralyzing Potion, and Unhappy Mating. So, for the first move, I'm gonna, what you do is you press A on the card you wanna play, and then uh, A again, and I'm gonna put, I'm gonna summon this one, attack mode. And to enter your battle phase, you, you just press B, and it'll pull up the phase menu there. And there we go. We are off, and his monster is Griffor. Not too bad. Alright, <laughs> and the card just kind of explodes when you destroy it. And we'll just end our turn. So, here we go. Alright. Ooh, Fairy Meteor Crush. Good card. Uh, if you equip it, basically you do piercing damage. So, I think I might put that on my giant red sea snake. Honestly, I don't think Mokuba has anything that's too threatening. Um, I do know he has two monsters you want to watch out for. One would be Big Koala. It's a beast type and it has a, uh, it takes two tributes and it has 2700 attacks. So I'd watch out for that. And he also has, uh, he usually plays this card, uh, Desk Koala. It has 1800 defense and a pretty good effect too. So. Early on, I'd watch out for those two, but other than that, I really wouldn't worry about it too much. As long as you have a, you know, a semi-strong monster with about 1,500 attack, not too much to worry about, so. Alright, and we will attack him directly. Take that, Mokuba. Alright, in my turn. Uh, but yeah, this was the first, uh, I was actually looking on YouTube, oh, forest, okay, well, that's cool. Uh, I think that helps insects, beasts, and, uh, maybe beast warriors, I don't know. Oh, and plants, I would imagine. Uh, and mostly he runs a beast type deck, so, I can see why they'd give him that card. Sword of Hatred, nice. Oh no, it's deep-seated. Yeah, deep-seated hatred. Yeah, like I, like I said. <laughs> All right, so let's uh, play this on Sea Snake. Do some up even more. All right, and I think I will play Crimson Ninja. Try to take out one of his face downs if I need to. All right. I love the music in this game too. Pretty cool. All right, two alligator, huh? <laughs> uh oh, but what was I saying? Um, yeah, uh, I think this is yeah, this is um, uh, I think the first game uh, released for you know Yu-Gi-Oh game for the DS, uh, and honestly, it's it's a pretty good game. It has a really good storyline. And uh, I enjoy playing it. It's now, it, you know, if you're into the new cards, I have no idea what Yu-Gi-Oh is like nowadays. Honestly, I I really don't have no idea. Um, yeah, I think they came out with some kind of new monster, like a Link monster or something like that. I don't know. Um, but yeah, uh, you know, if if you're looking for an old, you know, older style Yu-Gi-Oh game, this is uh, this is for you. And, uh, yeah. 
I, I, I kind of like it. You'll see older strategies like, oh, big march of animals. Oh, okay. Interesting. So, uh, but yeah, this is an older style game, and it, it's fun. I like it. I like it. Great white. Wow. Uh, did we just win here? Let me see. Did we just win. So that'll do 200. 17. Oh, yeah. Yeah, unless you got some kind of trap card mocha, but this is over. But yeah, I, I, I really enjoy it. Uh, you know, for, for this being the uh, the first uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! game introduced on the DS, it's it's not bad, honestly. It's not bad at all. Oh, nice, and he played Big March. Make us uh, take each other out. It's not a bad play. It's not too bad. But yeah, I was I was looking on YouTube the other day, and uh, and I was going through my old games, you know, just seeing what I want to play and you know whatnot. And I noticed like on YouTube, there's there's not any, uh, you know, full walkthrough of this game on e in English. I was just like, how can that be, man? This is this is a really good game. Um, now don't get me wrong, it can take a while to get into the plot, you know, to the good stuff of the game, but. Wow, I just, I couldn't believe it. I don't know, maybe there is a full walkthrough and I, I just couldn't find it or whatever, but yeah, anyway. And with that, we take his points down to zero and we win, so. All right, and we get some new bonuses. No damage, no trap, no special summon. All right, no semi-limited. All right, and when you win, you get uh, Kyber Corp points, and uh, these uh, the KC points can be used to buy uh, booster packs at the uh, at the cart shop. So there you go. Ah, uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's see, what time are we at? Do I have time for another? Uh, yeah, some duels can go kind of long, so I don't know. But well, I tell you what, I'll do. I'll go to the home and save, and I'll try to play uh, one more real quick. Yeah, I'll save just in case we lose the next duel. Um. Oh yeah, and I didn't say this before, but like I, I think I think I started to say it, but I didn't finish. But um, as far as the duels go, I will show it. You know, if I lose. But if I do lose, I'm going to reset, and I'll tell you why, uh, as soon as we get into another... Oh, Taya, okay, cool. Taya Gardner. I'm Taya Gardner. Since I'm leaving for New York to study dancing, I want to remember everything about this town. Alright, cool. Yeah, what better way to experience by doing? Let's start. Friendship is the best. <laughs> Oh man, magic stage. Now Taya's strategy is basically this. Um, again, not, beginning of the game, not too powerful monsters, but um, her strategy is basically stall, 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 and continuously gain life points. And you'll see her play a card, uh, most likely called Solemn Wishes, and uh, basically boosts her life points by uh, by 500 each turn she draws a card or every time she draws a card so uh, pretty good hand here we'll go with Neo and uh, and Trap Ball so uh, I think maybe her best sponsor is Dark Magician Girl uh, don't quote me on that I mean we'll see we'll we'll probably wind up dueling Taya a number of times you know just here in the beginning of the game and and later but uh uh, but what was I saying? Yeah, yeah. if I lose, I'm probably going to reset, and there's a good reason for that. Um, you know, when you lose, of course, you don't gain. Uh, I'll probably set Beaver Warrior after this. Should I play Fairy Meteor Crush? Uh, you know what? Why not? Why not? Yeah. Play Fairy Meteor Crush? Yeah, uh, the reason I'll reset is because, you think about it, um... Uh, you know, you, uh, if you win, you know, you get, uh, oh wow, Petite Moth. 
you get KC points for you know winning and any of the bonuses you do. Um, and if you lose, you know you only get like uh, you know points equal to the turn count, which is basically what I'm saying. It's not very much. So basically, we're gonna make the most of our time. Is is the long? Is the uh, oh, I almost forgot to say Beaver Warrior. Is the long story short of it? Because uh, you know, if you lose and then reset, you know that way you'll get to. It'll still be at the point of the day earlier where you didn't lose. And ooh, red archery hero, not bad, Taya, not bad. Uh, you know what? I'm not gonna play trap hole because uh, it doesn't matter. But uh, yeah, um, yeah, and then basically you get to redo the duel. You know, if you were set, and then. Uh, if you win at that time, you get to keep the points, and, you know, more points, more booster packs, and that, you know, that, that kind of makes sense, that way I'll be able to show off more of the game. Ooh, slot machine, wow. Um, not the best tribute monster, but it does have 2,000 points, so, yeah, there you go. I might try to play it. Uh, yeah, let's play Mushroom Man in attack mode. And I'll protect these cards with, uh, Trap Hole. If, uh, if I can, so. Uh, but yeah, that's my logic behind that. It's, it's not really an issue of, oh, you know, pride or I don't want there to be a loss on my record. I mean, I mean, honestly, I don't care about that. And like I said, if, if there is a duel, not if, when there is a duel that I lose, I'll be more than glad to show that. Uh, but, uh, but yeah, that's. That's why I'm, and and you can complain about that if you want, but eh, I mean, I I think my reasoning's, you know, good. So get the most get the most out of what you can get, basically. So all right, and with that, we got Taya down to four thousand. So. Ah, Reign of Mercy. Yeah, and this is part of what I'm talking about. She has cards like these that'll, you know, continuously, you know, boost her life points. So. Um, one of the cards we're going to be looking for early in the game. Oh, yeah, and she didn't attack my Mushroom Man. Sweet. Okay. Well, I'm going to be able to show you guys a tribute summon for the first time. So we'll sacrifice Mushroom Man and Beaver Warrior. Awesome. Play slot machine. Honestly, I would have never thought we would have had the chance to play this card, but eh, there we go. And it is dark type, so eh, why not give it the Sword of Destruction? I don't see why not. Alright. And wow, she could really reverse this if she somehow had this card in her deck, Eternal Rest. <laughs> yeah, that would basically be like a right Geki to me right now. Yeah. Alright, but we will attack. Petite Moth, man. That's gonna hurt, Taya. But yeah, I, I really like how they did this game. And, and like, you can even see the... Now, don't get me wrong, compared to, you know, today's animation, these animations are, you know, hardly nothing at all, but I, I do appreciate the detail in this game. Uh, you see, like, there on the overall, you know, the sprite for Neo, the Magic Swordsman, and Slot Machine. And I think that's so cool, man, that they, you know, they created... Somebody had to go through this game and create, you know, individual, uh, you know, animation slots for each of these monsters. And that's, that's pretty cool, man. Uh, and actually some monsters we may see later on they get kind of a uh, an automatic like uh, I don't know what you call it but I'm just going to call it like an AMV sequence where it where you know it gets a special intro and, and everything it's, it's pretty cool uh, but I think we may have this duel wrapped up so yeah. attack with Neo oh man Moki Moki <laughs> wow well that's game to you Sorry to say, but you weren't much of a challenge. 
just like I'd expect in the actual show, so. Alright, and yeah, we didn't lose any points. Sweet. Alright. Alright, and we get a new bonus, Tribute Summon, so that's good. Oh yeah, and every time you get a new bonus, you get uh, 50 KC points, so that's good. If if you if you want to you know look up some of the bonuses you can get and try to do that, do it because it, it's completely worth it. I lost. How frustrating. Yep. Sorry, Taya. You just aren't that good. But uh, all right. Well, with that, guys, I think this is gonna do it for the first episode. So I'm gonna go into our house here and save. All right. And with that, I will see you guys next time. Hope you liked this episode, and uh, stay tuned. There will be more to come. All right, see you guys next time. Bye-bye.